Hey yo, what's cracking, my nigga? It's Dr. Seco Suave, the only nigga you know with a PhD in hoology and nasmatology. Hold on, let me take a sip of this drink, nigga. But without further ado, let's get into this Bro Talks EP number 10. Now, look, I got two questions to answer for y'all because these niggas hit me up with my DMs. First one was, I'm going to make them short. Nigga was like, he's fucking with a girl right now. He got he got hoes. He got hoes. And she wants to she wants to settle down. She want to get in a relationship. What do I do, Seek? Dr. Seco Suave. Not, not, not hey, Seco. I need Dr. Seco Suave. I said, look, Mo, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. You tell that bitch straight up. You, you're not ready for a relationship because you fucking with other girls. Now y'all niggas may be like, why would why would I say that, bro? Y'all have to think like you have to just think like in a, in a different perspective, bro. Would you want someone to sit there and waste your time, bro, when you really about to put your all into this person and you're about to get emotionally attached and all that, and they over here fucking with other bitches or other niggas? Would you want that? No. But we don't give a fuck regardless. That's why you tell her. Because even if you do tell her, it's like, if she don't want to fuck with you, fuck her. Nigga, you got hoes. Like, you got hoes. Like, bitch, it's, she really got no choice. She really got no choice. Like, you going to fuck with me or you not going to fuck with me? If you don't fuck with me, I don't give a fuck. I got hoes literally right here. They sucking my dick while we speaking right now. And then it's, oh, so you want to fuck with me, but you know you're not about to be in a relationship. She might even give you the pussy still. But either way, it's going to make her fuck with you more. Now, if she don't want to fuck with you, she's going to come back. Trust me, she will come back. But you shouldn't be worried about that because you got hoes and you on your purpose. If she do wants to keep fucking with you, that's what's up, nigga. You can keep, now you can, now you got three hoes. Now you got one more hoe. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she might not even be your hoe, but you know, she know you got hoes. So, yeah, that's that. Number two. Nigga was saying he got a crush on this girl damn near. He can't get her out of her head. Sound like some beta male shit. Nigga not on his purpose. He can't he can't get her out of her head. He texts her and she, you know, she's dry as fuck. She doesn't really want to talk. I'ma tell you right now, she has no interest in you, my nigga. She has very low interest and she has no interest. Now that the way to increase that shit is you stop fucking with her after all. You texting her every other day. Stop texting that bitch. She ain't do shit for you. Why you acting? Why you she ain't, I know for a fact she ain't give you the pussy. So if you acting like this and she ain't give you no pussy or suck your dick, how you how she think you finna act when she finally do decide to give you that shit? You gotta show her that you got other bitches. You making it seem like you ain't got shit going for yourself. First of all, you ain't got no purpose. You ain't got no bitches. Like that's how she's looking. And bitches don't like a lame ass nigga. Bitches love being in competition. Bitches love it when they fucking with a nigga that got other bitches chasing them because it values it adds value to you and you're adding value to them. Simple. You stop fucking with that bitch. You want a bitch to uh, increase her. In- you want to increase a girl's interest. You either you get a bitch. To- <laughs> Woo! This kills them. You get bitches that look way better than them. And you know you get them. You do your thing with them. You stop fucking with her. You just cut that bitch off completely. Like you don't owe her no explanation, no nothing. And if she texts you, you can either text her back or you don't. Like you play hard to get now. The balls in your court when she once she see you fucking with other bitches, she's gonna want to see why they fucking with you. Like. She's going to want to see why they fucking with you. They look better than her. So she's going to say, okay, if he got them and they look better than me, he must be doing something right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's that. When she hits you up, that's that's when the ball's in your career. You can either decide to play hard to get. You can, I don't even want to fuck with you no more. That'll probably make her want to chase you more. I always, I always like left them as crumbs. I always, you know, I, you know, I always got, I either got them to suck my dick. I'm not gonna hold you. If I ever wanted to fuck with a bitch and she, I felt like she was playing games and she was trying to play me like a lamb or like downplay my shit, I'll stop fucking with her. But I never thought of it like how I'm telling y'all now. I just did it. Like it was just, all right, bitch, fuck you, you're lame. Like I got bitches, so I would do that, and uh, they would just come back. But I wouldn't, I really wouldn't want to fuck with them. I'll just fuck with them and I'll get what I want and I'll stop fucking. With them. I'll get the bitch to suck my dick and I'll stop fucking with her, or I'll fuck her and then I'll stop fucking with her. Simple. But look, long story short, she ended up having him back up a few days later, my nigga. On some real G shit. On game. So, the last question is, my nigga said, How do I get bitches to... How, how can I get bitches to do whatever I want? How, how can I finesse these bitches out of their pockets? Bro, you should not want to do this shit. This is not, like, this is not, like, alpha male type shit. This is not real nigga shit, bro. You never... You should never want to finesse a girl out of her pockets, bro. That's what bitches do. Like... I'm not saying you a bitch, but I'm just I'm just like putting it in from like a nigga's perspective, bro. That's some bitch mentality type shit to where you want to finesse a bitch out of her pockets. Now, 
it may be times to where you do that shit. And yes, I have the, I have finesse bitches out of their pockets, but it wasn't intentional. I never came to, I never wanted to do all this to get a girl to buy me something or to get a girl to give me money or to get her to, you know, give me 2K20 or some shit, 2K19. No, that was never my intentions, but it's just, I'm going to tell y'all what to do to where y'all niggas can be like that. But uh, I do not rec I do not recommend y'all doing this shit because this shit will turn bitches crazy. Bitches will pull up on you. Bitches will try to kill you. They'll, they'll cause they're emotionally attached. So look, this is what you want to do. You want to get her emotionally attached. So you build her shit up. You never validate her. You don't give her no compliments, mo. Cause bitches, oh, I'm gonna tell you things. Girls love. They love validation, which is compliments and shit, and they love reassurance. Basically, you know, you know, you gotta re you gotta remind them how much you fuck with them. And that's not the person I am. I'm not the type of person to hand out reassurance. I'm not the type to validate. Because it's like, I don't fuck with ugly girls. So, my just me fucking with you alone is your validation and your reassurance. If I don't want to bother, if I want to be bothered by you, I'm not going to I'm not gonna fuck with you. I'm not going to talk to you. If I think you're ugly, I'm not going to talk to you. I don't talk to ugly girls. I don't talk to girls I have no interest in. It's a waste of time. And what do I get out of it? My nigga, I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm not the nigga that fucks bitches because they got, I'm not the pussy is pussy type nigga, bro. I don't fuck bitches for, you know, because they got pussy. Oh, she got a pussy. I'm a fuck. Nah, I'm not like that, bro. My trophy case is very nice, my nigga. I don't fuck ugly bitches. I don't fuck with ugly bitches. If an ugly bitch try to play fight, I'm a beat your ass. You're a nigga. You look like a nigga. You're ugly as shit. I don't fuck with ugly bitches. We're not play fighting. I'm a beat your ass for real. So you don't validate her. You don't give her no reassurance, my nigga. Uh, what else? You make her, you, you're, you're so focused on your purpose, my nigga. This some real shit. I need, I need y'all niggas to tune in. This some real shit. You're so focused on your purpose and you never have time. This is what's key because I'm going to tell you what really gets girls wet. Your time. Like bitches, they thrive off. Of, I told y'all niggas this shit in the last video. You give them some of your time, bro, but you don't give them all of your time. So she already, so if you play football, you always in the, you always in the weight room, lifting weights and you go into practice and you got study hall. Like you got to study in for tests cause you still go to school. So you, you lift and weight, study hall, practice. And then you got, uh, training, you know, you got to study the playbook, you know, you watching film and then you got games and shit. She already knows if you got some per like a purpose like that, that you're not gonna have a lot of time. So the little bit of time you give her means the world to her. Because once she already knows you got other bitches, so it's like, okay, so out of all these other bitches, he's spending this little bit of time with me. That's a little bit of validation for her right there. Validation and reassurance. That right there alone is. Because you could've been fucking with any other bitch, but you're fucking with her out of the time that you have. So that's what bitches love. They love your time, bro. You, you know, you're, you're giving her your attention. You don't even have to be fucking, bro. Like, you can really just be giving her your attention, like, you don't have to dick a bitch down, bro. Like, you can really... Everything with girls is, like, in their head, bro. Everything with them is mental. I'm so fucking serious, bro. It's, everything with girls is mental. You don't have to be dicking her down. But, nigga, if you dicking her down and you doing everything I'm about to tell you, nigga, you're about to be a fucking winner, bro. Like, you will be... Like, you'll be a fucking winner. Bitches be saying, oh, this nigga... This nigga turned me crazy. He ain't turned her crazy because of the dick. He turned her crazy because how he... How he got her right in the head, bro. Like, he got her, like, you know... He, he got her emotionally attached and he dicking her shit down, nigga. He dicking her shit down and he got her emotionally attached. Nigga, you know how good she'll be feeling if she's emotionally attached and she's getting dicked down at the same time? But just imagine her being emotionally attached. I'm telling you, bro. Bitches, they're not like us, you know? They're not like us. I don't give a fuck if a bitch give me a compliment. Or if she give me pussy, I'm like, I'm fine with that. I can live with that. But she, girls, they're not like that. They're not going to sit here and keep popping their pussy for you. And... Then you're not giving them nothing like you're not giving them no attention no time they're not okay with that i could fuck a bitch and she don't have to talk to me she could i could literally have a booty call right all she wants to do is fuck I, that's how that's what i had in college where she all she wanted to do was fuck like we was never seen in public nothing but when she wanted to fuck she would like hit me up i'm fine with that i'm okay with that girls is not okay with that most of them is not okay with that at least the ones like the younger ones but this bitch she was like 20 like 22 or some shit that's the story time how lost my virginity but uh bro that's it basically like you want to get her emotionally attached and the way you do that you know you don't validate her you don't give her reassurance uh and if she ever says i feel like you don't fuck with me like i feel like you don't like me you never give me compliments i feel like i'm wasting my time like you don't do shit for me like i feel like all you want me is for like it's for some ass and shit bro that's when you give her the crumbs you hit it with a this right here is the this is what you call the crumbs my nigga you don't even validate her but you validate and be like baby you know i fuck with you like you know you know you you know you better you butter her up you butter her up so that's what you do 
And now she's, you know, she's surviving off that little bit of validation. That wasn't even a full thing of validation, but it was just enough to get her going, like enough to keep her going. So now you, when you do have this little bit of time with her, when you're spending that time with her, you're making memories with her and shit. So, you know, you want to make it, I can't tell y'all niggas how to, it's just off your personality, bro. Like, I can't tell y'all niggas how to like get a girl to, you know, really like you because it's, you just got to be yourself, bro. Like, it's just, with me, I just got charm and shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know, bro. It's just something I was blessed with. Like, I, if you're around me, you know I got a good personality. Like, it's it's hard to, if you don't want to fuck with me, bro, it's, you're gonna you're gonna think about me. I know that for sure. Every person I fuck with, I know they fuck they uh, think about me, because I'm just it's just my personality. Like, it's just the glow, you know what I'm saying? And they know I'm not. I don't really fuck with everybody, so they know it's ex, it's ex, it's some exclusive shit. So that's yeah. When you do that, that's that. Now you built her up and shit, right? You you know you're doing everything right now. She you may see her, you know. Feeling like she, she's. This is when she'll start acting like your girlfriend when y'all, when y'all are not dating. When this happens, this is when you break. <laughs> this is when you break her heart, bro. Now y'all niggas may be saying, "Why the fuck would I do that, bro?" This is all part of like to. This is like you still. You gotta like. You know what I'm saying? Just listen, bro. You break her heart. You know you stop fucking with her. She's gonna be sad. You might be sad or you might not be sad. But uh, it's just the way life goes, bro. You break her heart and you're. You know y'all take y'all separate ways. It may take her longer. She may try to have a hot girl summer, you know, make it seem like she's fucking all these other niggas. If she's fucking with all these other niggas, who gives a fuck? Because if she's fucking with other niggas, nigga, don't fuck with her because you got other bitches. But she will come back, bro, because she, you may, you put all these memories and shit in her. Like, you got all these memories of her. It's just everything you was doing, like, she, how, why would she, no other nigga can give, can do what you did mentally, like, emotionally and all that shit. No other nigga can do that. And if you dicking her shit down, I mean, bitches, they, let me tell you how bitches is. Bitches, they can go into Walmart and they can say, who wants to fuck? And niggas will line up and, and be like, I want to fuck. Niggas, us, we cannot go into Walmart and say, who wants to fuck? And bitches will line up. That's not how it goes, bro. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. So, bitches, and plus, most of them, they're not going to want to just be fucking every nigga. Like, niggas, you know, niggas, some niggas don't fuck every bitch, but niggas, bitches don't fuck every nigga. So, because they have, for the girls that enjoy the sex, they have to be feeling it in the head as well. You have to, you have to be fucking them physically and mentally. Like, you have to, uh, what is that shit called? You got to stimulate their mind and their pussy. Like, for the pussy to even be fire, you got to stimulate their mind. Every nigga can't stimulate their mind. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you stimulate, if you stimulate her mind and shit and you got, she's emotionally attached and you dicking her down at the same time. Nigga, she might turn crazy now. This is where y'all niggas be getting these crazy bitches and shit from. It's not because she crazy. She crazy because you how, like you made her crazy. So you made her emotionally attached to you. You was dicking her shit down. And you broke her heart. And now she's like, she's in the scarcity mindset. She's like, who else is going to do me like this? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that. And whenever you want to fuck with her, you know, you start fucking with her again. But basically, to get whatever you want from a bitch, you just... Get her emotionally attached. Now, I'm not saying y'all niggas need to be doing this shit, but a nigga asked me a question, and as me being y'all big bro, I'm big bro. I'm going to lead y'all into the... I'm going to tell y'all nigga real shit. I'm not going to filter. I'm not going to sit here and hold y'all. I'm not going to cap. I'm going to tell y'all real shit. He asked the question, so I answered it. But I did say, doing that type of shit is a bitch... Is like a bitch mentality. That's what bitches do. They, you know, they do that type of shit to get what they want from other people instead of, you know, working hard for their shit. Yeah. That's not what real men do. That's not yeah, what niggas do, man. Like, real niggas, that's a real nigga shit. That's not what we do. We don't do that type of shit. Now I told y'all niggas, yes, I have done that shit, but it was never intentional. It's just my, like, I never asked a girl to get me, like, I got 2K20 and shit, but I never asked her to get me 2K20, my nigga. Like, she just, she know I play 2K. She don't know I got a, <laughs> she don't know I got a YouTube channel, but she know I be playing 2K and shit heavy. But, so she went and bought me 2K20. Like, I got the shit, uh, I got the card right here, like the PSN card. All I gotta do is buy it. She, she wanted me to get the $100 version. I'm getting the $60 version. I'm buying VC with the rest. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Basically, bro, you get emotionally attached. If y'all niggas are still lost, hit me up in the DMs, bro. I don't mind answering y'all questions. If you want a fast answer, you can hit me up in, uh, hit me up on the DMs. I'll say hit me up on Twitter or Snapchat because Instagram be saying that, like, request shit. And I don't really be uh, checking my requests and shit and all that. But I, I do check it, but it may not be fast as fuck, like, on Snap or Twitter or, you know, some shit like that. But, uh, make sure y'all tune into the stream late tonight or tomorrow. On some gang shit. If y'all niggas is confused, I know I might have confused y'all. Just hit me up like I said, bro. I'm a cool ass nigga. I don't mind answering questions. I am the big bro. And uh make sure I like the video, all that shit. And shout out to my boy 48 Mari. That nigga is gang. 
If y'all made it to the end of this video, comment that KMD or KMFD for kiss my fucking dick or kiss my dick in the comment section. And gang, I, I'm out.